Welcome back to Our Community. Susie Thomas visiting with filmmakers from Malone University as they get ready for the Open Frame Film Festival. Let me give you all the particulars for that. This is going to be Saturday, April 22nd at 730 at Canton's Palace Theater. Beautiful venue. Those doors open at 7. Those will be doors. They open at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And... Um, You want to get there in plenty of time because all these filmmakers have friends. They also have parents and grandparents who are all going to want to come see their films, especially at the Palace Theater. So you want to get there. Admission is free with a ticket at the door. There is reserved seating. That's $2. And that gets you into a reception that starts early at 630. So if you want to watch these filmmakers walk the red carpet and attend a reception, uh, that will be at 6.30. That's $2. So, again, you're going to see about 12 movies, five documentaries, three short films, four music videos, and an experimental film, all created by students of Malone University. Uh, let's pick up right where we started, where we left off. Um, I think a lot of people are a little nervous to attend a student film festival um, because sometimes they get a little raw. And if anybody's ever attended other film festivals in general, eh, it's like, oh, my gosh, what am I subjecting my eyes to? You know, you can't unsee that. And um, it's different at Malone, isn't it? Somebody want to address that? Yeah, I think uh, because we're a Christian university, we um, we want to hold ourselves to the kind of a higher standard. But more, we just want to produce something that uh, a large audience is going to enjoy and we want to respect the people who are going to be viewing our artwork and so although some of the um, topics or some dialogue can be a little bit risky um, I would hope that the audience members would come and uh, be open to experiencing the the kind of the amateur nature of the night in that we're not all professionals and um, sometimes we may make decisions that could be offensive but like ultimately that's not our end goal. Our end goal is to glorify God in the work that we're doing. And um, so we hope to do that without, you know, hurting anyone's feelings or anything like that. There's absolutely no wrong answer to this. So I would just like to know where each of you are coming from it. Um, filmmaking is a powerful, powerful tool of storytelling. How important is, uh, is it to expressing your faith? And how important is your faith in uh, expressing that through film? I think um, it's very important to have an open, an openness to um, when it comes to filmmaking. I think it's important to express your faith, um, but I also I think it's very important, like to not be so closed to um, something that would kind of make you feel uneasy Mm -hmm. if you know what I mean like diversity and um, in the films so I'm actually I'm really excited to go to it and see all the different films people have made but I think like being at a Christian university is unique um, when you're because you'll see the films you'll see um, they'll be uplifting or they'll be like oh wow I've never seen something like that before make you think Um, yeah make Mm -hmm. you think and make you kind of um, go into that world. Um, I think that's really important as like a director's job um, to make them feel like uneasy and oh, like wow, what did I just watch? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Everyone but. seems to be nodding around the room. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about making a movie, making a documentary or a music video. Um, You've got to think of lighting and sound and all kinds of things. Did you have trouble with wind? You know, what did what did you run into that you were not expecting? The whole process for anyone who's not done it, I think, would come as a huge surprise. Talk about that. So I guess I could talk uh, from the music video standpoint a little bit. Um, Just a couple of the uh, mishaps that we ran into. Uh, I one time forgot to uh, connect the microphone to the camera. So (laughs) that made the editing process a little bit more difficult as it was tough. You had to really, really read the lips. Um, Thankfully, it wasn't nothing that, you know, totally killed the shots that we had for that day. Um, I would say another thing is like, 
just in filmmaking in general, you have to have a passion for it and in the process because, um, you know, Andrea kind of touched on the editing and how long and tedious that is. Um, also the shooting. Um, I know that like initially last year when I went into making a music video, I, you know, was going just for some applied credit hours through media um, in my major. And uh, the professor and I came up with this idea to... Uh, do a music video and so I'm like oh yeah that'll take like uh, maybe an hour two hours you know we'll shoot it get it done (laughs) slap it on a computer be good to go I get my credits and uh, I remember setting up that day at 3 p.m. and we finished that night at like 3 in the morning I think after everything was all cleaned up so you ever dream um, right but but see that's the thing I I can remember even though that process was like 10 to 12 hours long uh, one that's just in the way we decided to do it but two um I had fun like the whole time. Um, And when you find something that's a passion of yours, you know, whether it be filmmaking or anything, um, it's really, really important to like dig into that and find something that no matter how hard you work at it, you still love to do it, if Mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Vince, what about you with a documentary? Yeah, I had a different experience than Hayden in that he had a team around him, whereas I was kind of a solo act and it was me and my subject. And she's also a sophomore, Hannah Gears. She's a creative writing major. Um, it's kind of crazy. Before, I had a proposal on who uh, to to submit to Sankson on who I was going to do my documentary on on do on a Friday, and I and I found Hannah on a Thursday, the Thursday before. So, the process of going through with her really built our friendship. Whereas, like we are good friends now, and this was last semester, and so I'm super thankful for that. But maybe some challenges for me was definitely also the sound. Um, I had a hard time. Um, with the microphone a couple of times when I shot. And so go come editing time. Um, the quality wasn't there, but I think that's the cool thing about starting and developing your, um, your film techniques and your own film kind of style, because, um, you're, I'm going to make mistakes. And it was kind of, it was bittersweet to finish the editing process. Cause I knew like I had to finish it or else I would never be satisfied with, with what I did. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sang Sun even spoke to, to the fact that like, this is this is great work, but in the in the long scheme of my life as a filmmaker, however far I go, wherever I go, it's not the best I'm going to do. So I just need to know that right now that this is great work for now, but I need to look for the future. And so uh, that on top of building the relationship with Hannah that um, I really am enjoying now getting lunch together, we can we can think back and hopefully we'll be able to spend this night together at open frame. Mm-hmm. Um is really really fun and I and I really enjoy um, just the memories from you know last semester and the two months or so that I I had to make it. There's the technical part of everything, and then there's the storytelling. And did you? How did you navigate um, having this in your head? And it looks a certain way in your head, and then trying to find all the techniques to make that actually be what ends up on the film. How did you go from point A in here to point B where it's what everyone else will see as well? Um, Honestly, I just had a picture of I will have her talk about her journey. And then I will, um, as she talks about it, um, put, put, you know, edit in some B-rolls, which are um, film that you took um, of that aren't interview. Mm -hmm. And... Honestly, like I wasn't prepared for how different it was in my head <laughs> from how different it was actually in reality. Yeah. Um, so I had to work with that. And that was you just kind of have to work with what you have. Um, I wish I would have. I did a lot of like filming, actually, but I wish I would have did more just so I had more to choose from. Um, and yeah, honestly, I never even picked up a camera before, oh, so wow. it was wow. definitely a um, a challenge um, to figure everything out. But I I enjoyed it a lot. Well, one of the awards should be most improved. You know, you talk <laughs> yeah. somebody that you start with they've never done anything, and then they come up with a documentary about a very important topic. Yeah, that just oh, very cool, and that's that's what it's all about. It's a mm-hmm. safe place to make the mistakes and to learn. What did you guys learn? Like I said before, I learned a lot about, um, you know, kind of pre-checking everything before you begin. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I learned uh, that I tried to implement was a preset plan. And unlike Andrea, I'm a little bit more of a planner. And so, like, I had to uh, lay out on a Word document, like, 
when I was going to shoot this date, you know, this location. Whereas she may have done that, but like she just kind of, kind of had like, all right, I'm just going to have her talk. Whereas, um, I tried to have a plan on this is what I'm going to try to get out of Hannah in terms of what she's going to talk about. These are the shots I'm going to get. And I put a lot of planning into it. And like a lot of things in life, um, if I can relate it to even the Christian aspect of our relationship with God and how we have a plan for our life. And a lot of times it doesn't go as planned because ultimately when we're in relationship with God, we're, we're trying to live his will for our lives. And so like the film, uh, it did not go according to plan, but (laughs) through that it was an enjoyable experience because it's still, like I said, produced a a good work. And so uh, that's kind of the, the journey I went through and, what I learned from, you know, making my documentary. How about you, Hayden? Because you would have learned something last year, and it was something, anything different this year? You learned new things this year? Yeah, um, actually, this year, um, I'm also implementing kind of like a storyline into my music video versus last year um, for Just Another Line. Uh, we did almost more like a, like a concert type thing um, where it was just me uh, lead singing the band behind and just really different angles of like drum shots, guitar stuff, like getting super close so you can see the singer's face um, and that type of thing. Um, but kind of contrary to these guys, um, I didn't have as much of a plan. And I think that's because like being a music video, you're, you have more freedom to be a little more abstract, if you know what I mean. And so um, another thing being that I was also um, an actor in you know the, the film, um, I was more of just kind of directing what I wanted uh, Juliana Cole, my videographer, to do, um, kind of the shots that sang someone was looking for to complete like the class requirements, but also uh, myself as the storyteller as far as like what I wanted this story to look like. So um, it was just cool to have everything come full circle at the end. Well, you're all to be commended. It's just an amazing thing, an amazing achievement. And uh, let me give you all the particulars one more time. We're talking about the Malone University Open Frame Film Festival. This is the 16th annual. I'll tell you, they didn't know for sure that they there would be students interested enough in making <laughs> films to carry on after that first group of kids graduated. Yeah. So <laughs> congratulations, 16th annual. It's going to be Saturday, April 22nd at 7 30 at the Canton Palace Theater. Can't say enough about getting to see. How excited are you to see your movies on the screen at the Canton Palace Theater? Nervous. <laughs> I'm just excited uh, to see the audience's reaction because mm-hmm. I know when I go to see a film, like uh, even in the audience, I'm like curious as to what other people are thinking. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like as the filmmaker. And, and on the flip side, like I think, um, you know, you kind of talked about it in the beginning, like going from the filmmaker to the film watcher, you have like, I don't know, at least for me, this like sense of ease, like, oh, it's my turn. I just get to sit back and watch versus, you know, like all the stress of uh, being able to create your own thing. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what everybody has put in. Um, and then ultimately you want to see your work up on the big screen. Like that's what everybody strives for, right? To, to get everything up on the big screen. So that's going to be cool. Absolutely. It's come a long way from showing them on a sheet in the barn, I'll tell you. So <laughs> congratulations oh to all of you. Thanks for being on our community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you.